Hey guys, welcome to the part two of my video series on unit testing in Python with PyTest. So in the first part, we got a brief overview of software testing, various Python unit testing frameworks, and how to set up our Python project for unit testing using PyTest. We wrote a few unit tests and ran them using PyTest. So now in this particular video, we are going to explore a particular scenario where what happens is that the function which we are trying to test will raise some exception when a certain input is provided. Now what usually happens is that when the function you are testing raises any kind of exception then your unit test fails right. But in this case what we want is we actually want to assert that an exception is indeed raised by that function and our unit test should actually pass when that exception is raised. So that is what we are going to um, see how to do that in this particular video. So without any delay let's get started. Okay, so before I write any code, uh, I would just like to inform you that all the code that we are writing for this particular tutorial series is uh, will be uploaded on GitHub and the repository link is provided in the description of this video below. So you can just clone that repository and just play around with the code and try to learn the basics of unit testing using PyTest. So just check that out. And now um, this is my Python project on PyCharm and in the previous video I created a Python package called TUT1 and inside that there was one package called my app which was the source code which I have and then I had a test package where I put all my tests right so in this way I had structured my project and now for this particular part the part 2 I'm going to create another package which I will call TUT2 so inside TUT2 again I'll be creating a new Python package which I'm going to call my app and inside my app I'll be creating my Python file which I will call as sample so now inside sample I have to write my method so I'm gonna create validate age so validate age function takes age as input and it checks if age is less than zero and if that is the case then it raises a value error in which it says that age cannot be less than zero so it's as simple as that this is the function and now I want to write a few unit tests to test if this function is working as expected so for that um, for my uh, in my Python package I'm going to create a new another Python package which will be called tests so this is my test package and inside that I'll be creating um, a python file which I'll be calling test underscore sample so you must be noticing uh, the way I'm structuring my project and actually this is the uh, best way you should uh, structure it because in this way what we are doing is that this is the root and then inside that we have another folder in which we are keeping all our source code just like a normal python project that we do but then at the same level we have tests and in that test package we are putting all the tests for all, uh, for all the modules right so this is a nice structuring that we have done here and you can follow it so now test underscore sample let us see so I'm just going to write test underscore okay and also notice that since it's a part two only so I will just uh, remind you again that I named this test script as test underscore sample I prefixed it with test underscore so that PyTest can discover it for finding any unit test in it and then inside that again I am creating a unit test function which starts with test underscore so test underscore validate age okay so now there are two scenarios here in this particular function if age is less than zero or age is greater than or equal to zero and in both the scenarios the output that we'll be getting or the anything which will be happening inside the function will be actually different so that's why there are two scenarios so we will need to write two different or two unique unit tests to test that so I'm going to create first unit test which is test validate age with valid age so I'll be passing validate age so validate age with a valid age so 10 is a valid age right so I'm just gonna import the function and now um, let us just run it so for this whole tutorial series I'll be using the PyCharm UI for running any unit test because it's much easier this way another way of running unit test is 
that you can use the CLI, right? So um, pytest hyphen tut. This is the root of my project, and here you can see that I have tut one and tut two, two Python packages, and both of them are containing some um, code. So if I just try to run pytest from here, what will happen is that it is saying that it collected five items because there are four unit tests in tut one, and there is one freshly written unit test in tut2 so it collected all of them right but let's say you do not want to run all the unit tests so what you can do is that you can move to the particular folder and under that you want to run all the unit tests so you can just move to tut2 here and now if i run pytest so it will run only this particular unit test because only this test is available under the directory tree so that's why it collected only one item so yeah so you can use cli if you do not have pycharm or you are using something else or you like CLI more for running your unit test but it is much uh, it's a bit easier to run it directly through the UI so that's why I prefer that okay so now let's come to the second case the second scenario test validate age invalid age so what do we do about it um, so let me just run it with an invalid age and let's see what happens so if an error is raised while running a unit test then it means that that unit test has failed so as you can see that my test has failed because of value error as we can see so now um, so this is actually expected right so that's why I need to tell pytest that this exception is actually expected that's why um, you should not fail the unit test so with pytest so we'll be using the pytest dot raises function in order to achieve that goal so let me import pytest and with pytest dot raises value error so what we have done here is that we are now expecting validate this particular code so basically we have written a with context and under that with context any um, code that you have written that code should raise this particular error if that error is not raised then there will be some assertion error that you did not raise that error so that is exactly what we want right so let us just test it so we are expecting that all the code which is written under this with statement that is going to raise the value error and yes that happened that's why this test passed now let's say the, um, the code under uh, this with context does not raise any error then what will happen so in that case your assertion is wrong because the that didn't happen right so that's why you will get assertion failed and what failed um, that you did not raise value error right so this way this works and also you can get some more information about the exception which was actually raised so you can do that by doing as exception info so actually pytest.raises returns an object of class exception info and it contains all the information about an exception so what i can do is that i can get some information about it so now how do i um, let's say let's say i want to get the message uh, which was raised by this particular exception so this is a message age cannot be less than zero and I want to assert that exactly this message was obtained when this exception was raised so let's say I want to uh, test that as well so that is also in um, a good test that you can write that you also want to validate whether the error message is also correct or not so what you can do is that exception info dot value will return actually return you the actual exception which was raised so you can just put a string around it and you will get the error message so let me just print it so let's run it okay so let me just make validate age minus one again because we want the unit test to pass um so we didn't get any output and that is actually correct uh, so this is because um, so while your unit test was being executed validate age minus one raised an error and as soon as this error was raised the with context was complete and it came out of this particular context and moved to the next line of your code so that's why this line was not executed so actually you need to take it outside the with context okay so now this should work um, yeah so as you can see age cannot be less than zero we are getting this output so yeah so now I can write an assert statement that assert that the error message is equal to this so let's test this 
yeah so look at that it is passing so now you are testing that if error is raised and then you are also testing that the error message is also this so this is a nice way of doing this particular kind of test and what i can do um, here is that i can make it a bit more concise by using some inbuilt um, functionality so pytest.raises function actually already has something called match so there you can simply put your error message and that will directly get matched with the exception message that you're getting so in this way you do not need to create an exception info and then do the assertion yourself so this is also good so for example if i just put it a bit different so my test will fail it will say that there is an assertion error that the regex pattern this did not match with that so yeah okay so this was the second part of this video series in which we learned how to assert exceptions how to assert that whether that my function is indeed raising this particular exception so you can do that by using the pytest.raises method and i hope you got a uh, good understanding of it and if you still have doubts you can put them in the comment section below that's it from this video thanks for watching